We'll guide you through how to connect your PS5 controller to your Mac. If you find this guide useful, consider subscribing and liking the video. So there are two different ways you can go and connect your controller to your Mac. The first way is by using a wire and the second way is by using Bluetooth. Firstly, we'll do the wired method. So what you want to do is grab your controller and grab its charging cable. So one end is going to be USB and the other end is USB-C. You probably could just use a USB-C to USB-C, but I just like to use the original cable that it came with, but it's going to be up to you. And all you need to do is plug the USB-C end into the charging port. And because of my Mac, I've got this adapter. So the USB can go into here and then it can plug into my Mac. I've now connected it all up and I just need to go and plug this end into my MacBook. So I can then just go and put it in here. And when you plug it in, your controller will go orange. You'll also go and get a pop-up on your Mac, which says, do you allow the accessory to connect? Press allow, and that's it. You've now gone and connected your controller to your Mac. If you want to connect your controller using Bluetooth, then all you need to do is open up your system settings and then go into Bluetooth. And then what we need to do is go and put our controller into pairing mode. To put your controller into pairing mode, all you need to do is hold this top button here with the PlayStation button. So let's do that now. And you need to keep holding these until your controller starts flashing blue, just like that. And then as you can see on my Mac, it's now appeared and I can go and click on it and press connect and it'll then go and connect and it's now connected. And so now our controller is successfully connected to our Mac and we can go and get into some games. Now what I like to do is go and use Steam for using my PS5 controller. Steam is sort of like a game marketplace, um, but it's a launcher as well. The main reason I like using Steam is because it's got great controller drivers. And you may be thinking, I don't own any games on Steam. Don't worry, because what you can do is add non-Steam games to Steam. You can do it in the bottom left, but it's a quick setting you need to do in Steam. Go and click on Steam at the top and go in Preferences. Then go on to Controller and make sure you switch on Enable Steam Input for PlayStation controllers. Then you can go to your library um, and you can play games from your library, which you already own in Steam, or you can go and add non-Steam games by pressing Add a Game and tapping on Add a non-Steam Game. Select the game, then press Add, and then you can go and click on it and then you can go and press on play and you can launch it through Steam and take advantage of their uh, controller drivers. If you found this guide useful, please leave a like.